guys, it's me, the Bombay Chef Varun Amdar, and welcome to Get Curried. Today's recipe is a French classic that I've always wanted to show you: chicken fricasse. A little thing about chicken fricasse: it's possibly one of the most popular French things that you can see eat in most of the restaurants internationally as well as in India. Let's begin. Chicken fricasse may sound astronomical, but trust me, there's nothing to this recipe. Extremely simple, very simple flavors, and that's where you have one of the most amazing classic chicken dishes. First things first, we need to make a stock. In this stock pot, the first ingredient that goes in is vegetable oil, regular cooking oil. Not too much because we're making a stock. Now, why we are adding this oil in a stock recipe is because we want all the fat from the chicken to also start rendering. Technically, when you make stock in a restaurant or a hotel kitchen, you always make it in like a huge cauldron. And when I say huge, I mean like a thousand, thousand five hundred liter pot, which is generally like an electric kettle. So, in that, you add in a little oil. You add in the mirepoix and the chicken. Now, you would be wondering what mirepoix is. Mirepoix is M I R E. P O I X. It's basically a combination of carrots, red onions, and celery. These three things together is mirepoix. So let's add this in. What's important here is to draw the flavor from all these things. So celery, you're not using the leaves. Yeah, you can leave this for your garnishes and things like that. What we need are these stalks. So something like this. You snip off the leaves, keep them for later use, or you can discard them, and throw these celery sticks. Into the pot. So that's the first step. The second step is to take the carcass of a chicken and place this also in the pot. Now, the whole idea of placing the carcass at this stage is so that it starts rendering its own fat. Chicken also has its fat. When that starts rendering, you will start realizing that you get a film of oil of fat in its liquid state, which precipitates or rises on top of the oil. When you keep it to rest at room temperature and later when you refrigerate it, all that fat converts and solidifies. So you just fold it, remove the fat, and what you get at the bottom is stock. Now, how much you roast the bones is what defines the color of the stock. If you barely just kind of pan fry it or pan sear it, you get like a white stock. If you continue roasting it, you get like a brown stock. You keep doing and keep going further. You start getting deeper and deeper notes of the stock. So in this case, we'll keep it absolutely neutral. Let's pan fry all of this. Once this just gets like a tinge of brown, we'll add in the water, and that's where you get a light brown stock. So eventually, the color of a chicken fricasse it's light brown. It's almost cream in color, and that's exactly how we want it. Somewhat, maybe. A darker shade of a mushroom is what we are looking at for the eventual final dish. While doing this, it's also important to start scraping all the brown bits because trust me, that's where all the flavor lies. Once the scraping is done, let's add in cold water. When I say cold water, I actually mean cold water or iced water because what happens in that case is, now imagine all of this is hot. The moment you add in cold water, it drops down the temperature immediately, and after that, when you cook it for 20-25 minutes, the temperature slowly starts rising. And while the temperature keeps rising, it also starts building the flavor and drawing out all the flavor from the vegetables and the bones. Very important. At this stage, we are not flavoring this or seasoning this, so no pepper at this stage, no salt at this stage, because stock has to be neutral. Technically, you call it the fond or the foundation of cooking. So keep it neutral. So whoever is using it does not have to really mind about the flavor or the seasoning, because there would be somebody who's already added salt in this. You may just pick like a ladle from it, add it to the recipe, which already has salt. So salt plus salt. We don't want that to happen, so keep this neutral. I am making this recipe only for chicken fricasse today. What I am doing is adding in some flavors, which are typically associated with chicken fricasse: thyme, fresh thyme, of course, 
and oregano or oregano these are my personal two favorites when it comes to chicken fricassee so i'm adding it here because like i said i've made the stock only for the fricassee eventually when you start making the gravy or when you start making the dish you'll realize that that could be slightly untoward in your mouth in terms of a bite so keep it separate let all the flavors get drawn into the stock and that's where you have the most amazing chicken stock so let's get this cracking first one quick stir and leave it aside for 20 minutes so that this continues cooking and by that time what we are going to do is dredge the chicken and pan fry what is dredging what is pan frying let's see it now let's heat a pan on moderate flame while that is happening take the pieces of chicken you can use boneless pieces you can use chicken on bone curry cuts choice is completely yours these are assorted cuts so that's where i am to this i'm going to add in freshly cracked black pepper Well this recipe is more on the creamier side it has a nice creamy note to it so little pepper is just perfect salt and finally to this i'm adding in refined flour now the whole idea of adding refined flour to this recipe or to this chicken is to ensure that all the pieces of chicken are nicely enveloped in the refined flour so let's add that This is called dredging the flour. So remember dredging the term that I was talking about. While doing that, ensure that all the pieces are rolled into the flour. Let's take oil and butter in the pan. There we go. And to this, like a little knob of salted butter. Before the oil and butter mixture starts burning we're going to start placing the pieces of chicken like a minute and a half on one side on high flame and you'll see that the surface of the chicken just kind of begins to beautifully caramelize at this point let's give it a flip do not over brown this because in that case the fricassee will get darker and you do not want that to happen similarly let's turn this and pan fry this on the other side as well once the chicken gets this lovely color we move on to the next step and that is adding in the mushrooms now in this case of course i'm using button mushrooms which are washed and cleaned just cutting these into quarters When we make this recipe in a larger batch or traditionally actually we pull the pieces of chicken out we re-saute the mushrooms and then add the chicken back so i'm making it easier for you so that you do not have to work with too many vessels after the mushrooms we stir this add in the remaining butter along with this some more flavorings beginning with cloves of garlic and bay leaves let's stir this and on high flame ensure that all of this starts getting that layer of color that caramelized note which like i said earlier is very important for this recipe Once the pieces of mushroom have also browned, you just scrape it lightly, like so, and add in the chicken stock. Now, as you may have seen this recipe in a lot of photographs, or you may have seen this in a lot of restaurants, the eventual look of this is saucy. You want chicken, you want mushrooms. and you want that sauce that literally coats the back of your spoon now considering all of that and considering the fact that the chicken is still undone it's just barely 50% done this is going to take at least 15 to 20 minutes on medium flame to cook so let's give this a stir so the stock also needs to be added in accordance with that keeping in mind the eventual texture of this recipe if you go wrong it's absolutely fine because even if the stock is lesser at this stage 
you always have stock. If you're running out of stock at any point in time, you can add in water. So remember this, not get scared. Allow this to cook for 20 minutes, but before that, I'm going to add in some cooking cream. And this, in a lot of ways, brings in that signature color of the fricasse. One quick swirl, like so. A quick sprinkling of black peppercorn, freshly crushed. And this, ladies and gentlemen, now continues cooking for a further 20 minutes or till the chicken is completely well done. Now you may ask, we serve this with what? Parsley rice is just perfect. Stay tuned and keep watching more such quick, simple, easy and stunning recipes only on Get Curried. This is me, the Bombay Chef, Varun Dinamdar, signing off.